Hey guys, Karth here, and now this is going to be part 5 for my Sparta campaign, so let's just go right into it from where we left off. Um, I forgot to check my event messages here. So Galanos the General got plus 5% mil percent melee defense skill for all Hellenic infantry units, pretty good. Construction complete, my harbor, and as I mentioned before, the harbor is complete, so then I'm going to focus on trading port once I have enough money. Encourage populace. Inspired Populous, Faction Encounter, Darcy, and Tylus, whatever you want to say it. At your so right now, what I'm going to do is... Let's take a look at my we army. I'm battle. waiting for that. I need more income, so I'm going to end my turn here. And it is freezing again. Oh, wait, not yet. Oh yeah, I have to move this Spartan ship, as I said, just to, in case I do attack Macedon, I need a fleet ready to counter any Macedon or Athens fleet. So, let's take a look here. As all the gods look down on us, they too wow. must wonder now, why we are not this is actually very France. interesting. Macedon wishes to form a military alliance with me, but I have to attack them, so I have to cancel this. Sorry, my friends. Are these I have no words choice. From a sober tongue? If so, then I must accept them even as I despair of them. Well, I won't say I'm sober, but <laughs> Let's take a look at what Athens is doing. You know, by now, since I just rejected Macedon's officer f offer for an alliance, they'll probably be expecting me to attack. But I've heard so many rumors that the AI don't even go and attack your cities at all for some reason. I don't know if that's true or not, but even if, or if they do attack, they attack in like one unit or something. So either, if that's true, then I'm not even going to worry about defending my cities really. Maybe put a few units on each, but other than that, that Roman town is being sieged or something like that. What the hell? Brundisium is being under attack. What kind of name is Brundisium? It's actually cool. <laughs> I should change my alias to Brundisium. There's two medias, or there's one media and then the other media is something else. Cool faction names. But yeah, guys, again, um, a lot of players of Rome 2 thus far are very. You know, they're complaining a lot, and, you know, I, I don't mind that at all. You know, if you're having a problem with the game, and it's globally, and a lot of other people are having it, then, you know, you should be able to voice your opinion on that matter, and you should be able to, you know, hear from Creative Assembly how they're going to fix that. Okay, let's take a look here. As I said, I did recruit a unit. Troops recruited. I got the hoplites. Household expands. Let's take a look here. So, Galanos, the general, plus one authority when leading a fleet. This character already has a full descent of pool. I don't want to replace, I'll send him to the pool then. Faction encountered, Etrusian lead, motivated populace. Well, that is not good. I don't want Macedon to be motivated at all. Ready for orders. You know. So, my income is doing alright. Again, I need that food. Um, still need to wait a little bit for that. I would like to build this trading port. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to build the trading port, even though my food will go down. But I do know that I can... Well, I, I don't know. I, I know I'm going back and forth on this subject here, but I'm still a little... I'm not sure what exactly to do with this because it says minus four food and my food is at two. Plus one growth per turn. You know what? Hmm. So I have no choice but to wait until I, you know, do something. Although trade gets my economy really going, but it's not that worth it. Um, so I'm going to wait on that. And I'm really hating myself because I go back and forth. If you guys have any suggestions on what I should actually do, then please comment below. <laughs> I don't think I'll do it in this uh, episode yet. Let me move this fleet here. 
you know, we need to see some action. We really do. So I'm going to move this whole force all the way over to Pella. And I am going to declare war on Macedon. And if Athens does decide to join Macedon and get involved, well, they're going to have to fight with me. I don't even care. So war declared, and I am also going to be declaring war on Athens, which means that if I defeat both Macedon and Athens, I take control of the entire Greek states and, you know, that entire region. I can move up to Thrace later on. So I accept your offer of a war, whatever you want to call it. And my guys are going to move up. I have a huge-ass army, very well-trained. I'm not that worried about losing. My skills see what I can do if I can sabotage Pella here. Which one is the most success? Poison Wells, or I can Fishmonger Port? No, I want to do the city. Poison Wells. No crap, they're going to end relations. Oh no. Well, you are exposed, so I did declare war. I need to move this general into here. And what I need to do is I need to recruit a more units on Apollonia just in case I do get attacked by the enemy. So I'm going to recruit some citizen cav because I don't have any cav. And I'm going to recruit a pikeman unit. I think that should be it. Just to defend Apollonia if it does get attacked. Sparta, Ready I'm at war with Athens and Larissa, Athenai and Larissa are here. So I also have to watch out for that. I'm going to move this fleet over here. Maybe I can join these two fleets just to d defend against any enemy fleets over here. You know, I really would like to... I should have planned this out better because I want to attack Athens as well, and I know they're going to attack me if I don't. But let me just end my turn here. This frickin' ca campaign map is so damn laggy, it sometimes pisses me off. It's sort of annoying. More than annoying, to be honest, because I paid so much for this game and I have a really high-end, you know, computer, and it's still lagging on the campaign map. Alright, it looks like Macedon sent out their fleet from... Pella, or whatever you want to pronounce that by. Let's take a look at Athens once it loads. And guys, this isn't the video lagging. This is actually me. Holy crap. Oh! A noble death for Athens. Very nice. This is good for me. Close movie. This is very good for me. Okay. It looks like Athens is sending some armies here, and they would like to attack me on the field. Very interesting. They have a reinforcing army, about 100, 920. They have hoplites. Um, they have a general, hoplites. They have a lot of forces here. You know what, guys? I don't even care. Athens is defending Macedon, which is totally understandable. But I am going to fight this battle because I don't even care anymore. I want to see some action. And the odds are against me, so let's see how the AI plays up in this battle. I'm going to resume it right when we get in so I can save some time. Hey guys, okay, so the loading screen is done, so now we're going to start this battle. And let's get right onto it. You know what? I just screwed up. I can't even move. Wow. Okay, for some reason my thing just froze and I just started the battle. Okay. Let's take a look at my enemy units here. Or the enemy, to be honest. Slingers, slingers, hoplites, 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 blah, 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 blah. My pikemen should be easily be able to defeat those hoplites and take a look at the tactical map and now what I'm going to do he's running for some reason I mean he's gonna get exhausted General! I'm going to advance my army a little bit forward here not too forward but I will still have people in the trees I don't want them to run though that would be stupid you know what they don't need to advance all the way there just here I don't know where the Athens reinforcements are, but let's just take a look at these guys. They're running, so they are going to be exhausted. Very nice units here. This map's pretty nice. No bugs, really. No glitches. Look at my massive army. Yeah, these badasses. Look at them. Look at these awesome hoplites here. Where my, where my pikemen at? These are my 
Manly Pac-Man, you know what I'm saying, bro? Look at these guys, look at that guy. So cool. Okay, they need to stop soon, I don't know when. But yeah, let's get some flaming arrows going here. Ready and waiting. Double time. Get my, um... Javelin. Oh, these are javelins. I just forgot about that, but they'll do flaming shots. I forgot I have javelin. I keep thinking I have archers when I don't. So it's either a bad thing or a good thing. Javelin aren't the best, but whatever. They will have to make do. I'll wear my pikes in. Pikemen, I'm gonna put in phalanx formation. Pike phalanx here. These two spears can, uh, you know, stay there. My general's under attack. At your service. Are they shooting me already? I can't see. General, oh yeah. Their ready. slingers are shooting me, so I'm gonna attack them. Slingers are so easy to destroy targets. anyways. And they're going after my general. They're not even gonna be able to kill any of them. Let's take a look here. Enemies hidden unit. Where? Oh, over there. Those are his reinforcements, I would assume. And he is charging now. Fair enough. By your command. Where's my other... Missile infantry at your command. I'm gonna attack his slingers. He's moving up his hoplites. Spartans! Hopefully they know how to retreat. Alright, let's get in right into this here. He's still moving up his hoplites. And I think I'm gonna engage him with mine. Charge all three of my guys. Pikemen will hold their ground. And I'm going to attack his left flank with mine. While the pike sort of go in the center here. Because these guys are not very smart. They're charging my pikemen. Actually, I don't know if they are or not. Yeah, they are. <laughs> oh, remember guys, my unit detail is not on the highest because I would lag a lot, so... But look at these guys, they're getting wrecked. Quite a battle here. And my, uh, Peltas are just pouring onto them. I need to really attack their slingers though, that's the only problem I have. Right, over here, doing alright. Hoplites are putting up a good fight. I need my general to maybe attack them there. Don't have any bonuses or anything I can really use. So we're gonna have to flank these guys. Jeez, this Peltas. Yeah, take out those hoplites. Let's just take a close up here. They're gonna be flanked pretty good. Now they're getting flanked like hell. They're just dying. They're getting stabbed in the back here. Look at this. This is so awesome. <laughs> now they're running away. Okay, run fools. Let's route all their enemies. Just keep f fighting these guys. I need to take out their javelin men. Ready for order. Your orders. As you command. Ready and waiting. Fire on the enemy. Look at this battle here. This is just a bloodbath. Greeks versus Greeks. Who will win? I need to send all my forces up here. They need to help out. Right. Why are you running away, fools? Charge. Doing pretty good. Um, I do need a... What do we have over here? Militia hoplites. I have to watch out on the left. But in the main battle here, these hoplites ain't dying. I need my... These pikemen really need to do some work here. Ready, 
right, let's do the steady. Steady. They have an upgraded unit of pikemen, which is why they are doing so good. But let's do phalanx formation for these guys. You can just see the bloodbath of my uh, javelin guys, just throwing as many as they can. It's getting quite laggy. It's a big battle. Just see all the slaughter, though. And these slingers decided to attack my javelin men. Obviously, javelin men are a bit better in melee. Now it's just like, holy crap, it's so laggy. <laughs> I have a lot of javelins. Should be able to route these guys. I don't know. Their hoplites are doing some work. Let's do steady. I, I'm gonna be flanked here. I don't really care about that. Oh god, I'm gonna be flanked. What's up? I wanna attack these guys. Alright, at least they were ready for it. Oh my god, let's fall back. Alright, too late. Lost a unit of javelin there. Jeez. They're putting up a really good fight. I thought this AI was supposed to be easy. Let's send these reinforcements. These guys ran out of ammo with the Peltas, so might as well just charge them. This is quite a battle. Didn't think it would be this hard. But it's not that it's hard, it's just that I didn't anticipate they would attack me on the land. Probably should have planned a little bit better with my army. And they're gonna flank me with more hoplites. Yeah. Need to really just charge them. Alright, looks like a lot of their guys are wavering a little bit. Hopefully, I can you know, manage to route them. You can take a look at the cinematic mode here. And they are routed, one of their units is. So. All I have to do now is to just maintain that stability, keep advancing on them, keep pushing them, and they, while they run, just keep charging them. They should all route then. Oh, my guys are just charging through everyone here. It's quite unbelievable. I don't even have any sort of formation going. I'm gonna charge those hoplites because they're not running at all. These guys have 87 left, they should be routed soon. I'll have all these guys attack these hoplites. Throw some javelins at these hoplites over here. As you come on, carry on, Troy, pikemen. The men are not wavering. Well, their men are wavering. My guys ain't wavering. Just hold your ground. Carry on, Troy, pikemen. General. Good. Those guys are wavered. Well, let's charge these guys over here. They just have a lot of missile units. It's unbelievable how many missile units the AI always have. I need to get my javelins over here and just route these guys. Let's get into the battle here so you guys aren't so bored. Pikemen are advancing, these hoplites here, and I have, you know, javelin men shooting over them. They're just dropping like flies. This phalanx formation is quite good. Always need to make sure you have that phalanx formation. Alright, if you have out of ammo, just charge there missile units, please. 
and this battle should be over soon. Just taking out their hoplites slowly, but now they're dead. What's the next enemy here? These hoplites over there, that's it. And those guys are routed. Everyone is routed, good, good victory. I believe that is it. Enemy general is dead, good job. Let me just take a look, and that's it. Okay, good. I'm gonna end the battle. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> so let's take a look at the statistics here. I have an upgraded unit here. The unit that got the most kills, I believe, is my pikeman unit. One of the pikeman unit got the most kills, along with um, hoplites. So I deployed 1,700 men, lost 600 got f over 1400 kills, he lost 1500 guys, so I did lose a lot of my army, I only have, you know, 1100 guys left, but that's because of one of my javelin or skirm, or missile units, I should say. So I'm going to resume this once it's finished loading. Alright, so, battle's finished, and we can just watch that scene here. And now they still would like to attack and I believe I or no, I can enslave the captives or I can I can kill them. What does killing do again? Enslave captives. Release captives. I'm not gonna release them, I'll enslave them. Now he's running away like a coward. <sighs> I think he's running to Macedon. He knows I'll be attacking there probably. Or he's just sent an army up to Apollonia, so I need to sort of watch my back here, because if they attack Apollonia, I'm sort of screwed. So, you know, the AI did put up a fight. I'm not going to say that they didn't put up a fight. They did put up a fight. They did attack me. They did use their, you know, hoplite units. And I guess that after the second patch, I guess they sort of fixed that, because before... Um, there was a lot of bugs with the AI not attacking or not even use, playing strategically at all. But as you could see in that battle, it went pretty alright, so I'm not going to complain at all about it. And let's just wait for all the factions to just finish up here. You know, what I think I'm going to do is I need to attack quickly. The quicker I can take control of Athens, the quicker I can take control of Macedon and all of these places, then, you know, the less time I have to spend building up my army because they will also be building up their army again and again, and they'll be fortifying everything and all this other crap. So I do need to attack either Pella, the Macedon place, or Larissa, or Athenai. And Athenai is right next to my... Sparta, so I don't, you know, maybe I can mass up an army in Sparta and just go for them. I don't expect to have much of a fight considering they're sending all their units out. This force needs leadership. All right, no problem. I'll just elect this general here. And let's just take a look at my quartermaster report. Okay. Good. So you know what, I can attack the, I'm just going to attack these Athens armies here. Um, let's take a look at this battle. I'm going to finish off this army here, so I'm going to fight it on the battlefield. I will see you guys when it is loaded up. So let's start this. Alrighty, I'm just going to start the battle real quick. This shouldn't be too hard. Um... Let's move my forces forward. Javelin men. And let's just take a look at the enemy army again. Okay. Looks like he has reinforcements. Didn't... I think I might have forgot about those. I don't think so. He has just random ass slingers. Um, hoplites. Militia hoplites. So I have to take out these hoplites first. <coughs> Again, nothing to be really worried about. Should be able to sweep the entire army. Oh, and by the way, guys, this is what I was talking about. These little black spots they need to fix with the textures. It's um, it's like a glitch of some sort. I'm not quite sure. Javelin men, 
bunch of half lights, half lights. I think they're gonna wait for their reinforcements to come up, which is why I'm gonna advance. I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit. Not the video itself, just the in-game battle. So you guys aren't waiting for so long. Advance my amazing Spartan army. Looks like they're bringing in the reinforcements. They're really going to plan this out. So I do need to also get information. I'm going to start attacking his slingers. With my guys. So let's just fast forward again. Their slingers have a little bit more range. So, have to sort of watch out for that. Hopefully my guys can get in before they can really do some damage. General! And I think it is a good time to do the phalanx soon enough. I'll just get in here now. These guys are just walking, chilling. Let's take a look. These guys have a nice formation. They're going to be on the defensive, but I do have some upgraded units, so not too worried. And now they are starting to attack, losing a few guys. Nothing really Yours worrying about on. because they have their shields up. <clears throat> now I'm going to have these guys run. Wow, they actually have bonuses. Quite nice. Right, I'm losing a lot of men by these slingers. For, they're taking out my javelmen. Javelmen aren't the best. But, in return, I am taking down a few of their guys. Alright, you know what I have to do? I have to do... Not need to advance this whole force here. God, they're already wavering. Let's try flaming arrows here. Don't retreat. Yeah, these javelin men and peltas aren't the best versus these guys, but they should route soon, or my guys should route soon because their main force is charging, so run away. Run! Getting shot in the back there. Alright, time to activate some phalanx formations here. Really don't know why it's randomly lagging here. Spartans! Attack their Time to start this battle. Alright, my forces need to sort of... Oh, I can shoot these guys in the back here. With my javelins. And my pikemen are just knocking down these jab uh, enemy javelin men to bits. Really, just knocking them down. Should I'm gonna help out my forces here. Flank them on all sides. Squeeze them in. This is the enemy general's already dead, which is quite good. So doing good so far. My forces over here will need some help. Hopefully they can survive. Steady, steady, steady. Down. 
And my armies are winning pretty easily here. No. Let's go after those guys. Let's attack these slingers, which are quite annoying, if I must say so myself. Let's get into cinematic mode for a bit since this battle is going to be over shortly. Look at this battle. Pretty nice. Should be able to finish off the remaining hoplites here. Athens. These guys are just being smashed together by every one of my forces. They're putting up a good fight though. Not for long. <laughs> they just got smashed together. Time to finish off the rest here. Let's watch these charges with these pikemen. He's coming in from behind, stabbing them in the back. <laughs> wow, they're getting stabbed in the back here. Getting owned. GG! Yeah, you better run, boy. I think that's it. Yeah, the en both enemy generals were killed, so the Athens generals were killed. So that is it, guys. Good battle. Let's check out the stats. I deployed 1,200 men, lost 300, most of them probably my missile units. Um, yeah, definitely my missile units. And I got 750 kills, pretty much decimated the enemy army for Athens. Best unit, a lot of upgrades here. Best unit who got the most kills were one of my pikemen with over a hundred kills. Hmm, I have to say, my Peltas did alright. Not the best. Those slingers have a lot of range. But, um, I think the javelin men were the ones that were getting owned by the slingers, but the Peltas actually put up a decent fight and, you know, weren't getting killed as quickly as the javelin men, because javelin men aren't the best. So I probably will have, probably will disband or upgrade that unit to something else in the future. As the campaign progresses. But overall, good battle. You guys got to see two battles this part, so I hope you guys really are enjoying yourselves. I know, I'm just destroying all these Greek guys gonna take over Athens and Macedon hopefully within the next you know few parts f for this entire series shouldn't be too much of a struggle maybe some of the capital cities will be sort of hard we'll have to see but I'm I am looking forward to <clears throat> conquering all of Greece first and then setting up that port starting trade with other nations and just moving on to you know conquest whatever the north, the Thracian, probably take over all the Thracian nations next, up north, uh, north, east, I believe, I have to take a look at the map, and just work my way around the entire map campaign. Sparta is quite a beastie nation. Maybe I can rest up a little bit. I have to find a spot, probably. That reminds me, I should send my spy in attack again. Poison something. Because <laughs> if I'm going to be fighting Athens, I still have to, you know, sort of hurt Macedon at the same time, so... Might as well do something regarding my spy. Alright. So, this battle should be over. Once it loads up. Look at this. Oh my god, he headbutted him. What the hell was that? Alright, I'm gonna um, enslave these guys as usual. Increase in rank. Good job. Military traditions. I'm afraid we cannot. Only their courage facing the enemy exceeds their skill at arms. Very good. That is great to know. So I can upgrade a trait here. 
So, force details, let's see here. Siege experts, nah. Nah, artillery, no. Formidable spearmen, plus 5% melee damage inflicted by all spear armed units. Missile units. I'll do the spearmen. And let's take a look at the skills here. Warrior. Authority. Cunning. I'll do strategist. That should be good for now. Send my spy over to attack Pella. Sabotage. Let's do poison wells. Ah, he failed. She failed. Oh well. Whatever. Nice try. Commander. Alright guys, I'm going to leave you guys here for part, I believe this is part 5. Please make sure you like this video, and please click that subscribe button if you aren't already, and stay tuned for part 6, where I decide where to attack next, probably Pella. So yeah, stay tuned, and I'm out. Peace.